So the basics of Batch Connections uh, 101, how to turn, turn it on, what are the features? So under the mesh, under the mesh settings, you've got uh, Batch Connection. You can set that to yes, as, as seen on the screen, and you've got a bunch of uh, global controls, right? These global controls wouldn't affect um, our local settings. Uh, the local settings would override um, you know, the global controls here, so do not worry about that. So once that's turned, turned on to yes, we can right click uh, under mesh and then insert a connect object. So as you can see, the connect object is what um, you know, we'll be using to, to use batch connections. So we can, again, we can scope to either geometry or name selections and, or we can use the worksheet. So there are a few options here, as you can see. Um, there's, uh, again, a uh, few things I'll touch on later. So connection steps, I'll touch on a little bit later. Connection tolerance, um, so it's pretty straightforward. So what collection tolerance is, is if, if there's an edge to an edge and there's a gap of say, uh, you know, one, one millimeter, and if you give it a collection tolerance two mm, so anything below two mm would be connected. So pretty straightforward. Um, connection size would be, uh, take the same example, edge to edge with a gap of one, uh, one millimeter. Um, if you take, uh, it'll discretize the edge of, you know, the, along the edge of a DMM and then connect it, right? Connection options, um, I'd get into it a little bit more here. So there are three options, um, free to free, free to all and all to all, right? Um, as I said before, you can use batch connections in worksheet. So the scoped bodies can either be all bodies or your name selections. So you can have name selections coming in from space claim or um, in mechanical as well. So free to, for, uh, free, to free is um, essentially connecting all free edges to all free edges. Um, free to all would be um, connecting free edges to either edges or faces, right? And all to all is essentially everything. It'll connect all possible entities. So either faces or um, edges and whatever is in the scope present, right? So um, I think, so th this is a picture of the, this is the picture of the worksheet. So as you can see, you can choose the um, connection option here. So free to uh, all the three options here, you skip the scoping methods and you can set up the connection tolerance. And, and the one thing I'd like to point out is if you have multiple connection tolerance for the same scope of bodies, um, you can use the hyphen here, uh, hyphen here to um, give it multiple uh, tolerances. So that's a useful feature. 